Hi, good morning, friends. I hope you're all doing great, as always. And welcome to a Filipina in Europe. Okay, and today is actually Word Wednesday. And it's the second Wednesday since we started. Every Wednesday, we want to dedicate to the Word. Okay, to the Bible, the Word of God. And the verse that God laid in my heart to share with you today is uh, the word or the verse related to reigning in life. And it's in uh, Romans chapter 5 verse 17. Okay, and I have to read it to you. For by, for by one man's offense, death reigned through the one. Okay, there's the one that was Adam. Much more, those who receive abundance of grace and the gifts of righteousness will reign in life through the one. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, so here it's clearly declared that we shall reign in life through Jesus Christ okay and um, this is actually the uh, reigning in life God's way okay through Jesus Christ otherwise there is no other way that anyone can reign in life okay we may see other people who are successful outwardly they have um, maybe a lot of money but you don't know behind the scenes the troubles they're into, the problems that they have. Okay, they may reign in one area but suffer in one area. But God's will or God's intention is uh, that we reign in life, okay, in general. So what are the affairs, the general, general <laughs> affairs in life that we deal with? The uh, Okay, so we have our physical health we have our material needs and we have our peace i think at least for me those are the major areas that uh we um how to call that we deal with every day we deal with uh, peace of mind every day we deal with our needs material or physical needs and we deal also with our financial needs okay so at least for me um, from my point of view those are the three areas that I ask God to reign <laughs> no Jesus reigns but since Jesus lives within us his, it says in uh, the Word of God greater is he that is in you than he that is outside that he that than he that is in the world so jesus is in us and uh, if jesus is in us jesus reigns so jesus consequently through his uh, holy spirit will manifest his reigning his kingship in life okay this is what we should strive for it does not actually come automatically but we need to adhere or cling every day to the word of god open open the open your bible and le and read or know what is the will of god for you even at least for that day it says in the uh, uh the lord's prayer give us this day uh, our daily bread okay our daily bread the bread which came down from heaven is our Lord Jesus Christ so and since Jesus Christ is the Word of God made flesh we should have the Word of God the bread of life every single day 24 hours not 24 hours a day at least in 24 hours we should at least take in or eat 
the Word of God for spiritual nourishment. So, uh, but some people say, like uh, somebody told me the other time, I when I read the Word of God, I can't understand it. And this is the same. Uh, same is true, was true for me before I got born again. I can I could not understand when I read this, I could not understand because I did not have the Holy Spirit of God within me, which comes the Holy Spirit or the Holy Trinity comes to live within us once we get born again, once we accept our Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. That is the time, the day you accept Him as your Lord and Savior, He will come. The Holy Trinity, the Godhead, will, will reside and dwell within you. And the Holy Spirit will make you understand the will or the Word of God. And this is true for me and for uh, the other Christians that that got born again. Now they understand better or clearly the will of God, which is written, everything is written in the Bible. Okay. When Jesus healed all sick that uh, asked him for healing, he healed everyone. Not one turned, uh, turned away sick. Okay. Every sick person that came to him was healed. Okay, so this is the will of our Father. Everything that Jesus did on earth to the human beings, to the children of our Father, was uh, God's or the Father's will. Healing, abundance. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And again, Jesus said, I am uh, the Prince of Peace. Actually, he is the Prince of Peace. So uh, I always say, our Lord Jesus Christ is everything you will ever need. You have physical, you need physical healing, physical health, go to Jesus. You have, uh, you have need of provision, whatever provision, physical, spiritual, you need peace, go to Jesus. Okay. And God is a personal God. He is not a collective God. Okay, He, he uh, interacts or He communicates to us on a personal level. You can uh, pray to God and know His will personally. Okay, He did not, uh, uh, how do you call that, limit Himself to one person. He is Per, a pers your personal father okay as a father as you can uh, have a personal relationship to your fleshly father it's the same way with our spiritual heavenly father you can have a personal relationship with our heavenly father with your heavenly father and he is actually waiting like the prodigal father okay of the prodigal son he is waiting in the wings, on the wings of love for you, on the horizon, waiting for you. I cannot, I always say this, and it's true, I cannot uh, fully comprehend the vastness, the, the infinity of the love of the Father. What I can understand is that He gave his only begotten son to suffer and die and rise again to redeem us from the curse of sin okay i think there is no greater expression of love than this this demonstration through the death and resurrection of his only begotten son our lord jesus so there is no doubt no questioning allowed <laughs> that our Heavenly Father indeed loves us, okay, th through and in our Lord Jesus Christ. So I always point you to the Word, okay. First, you have to go in repentance, in uh, uh, ask for forgiveness for your sins in prayer 
and accept our Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit will come and dwell within you and we, you and I, let's go together to this journey of knowing how to reign in life. Okay, this is the will of our Father. Okay, thank you and uh, God bless and uh, I hope my voice improves. When I raise my voice, some, somehow I, it changes, it uh, deteriorates. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you again and thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for our new subscribers. God bless you and uh, God loves you. Thank you. God bless.